Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people, and welcome to the Kadikura Show, where I have to do the unthinkable and put games in their rightful place by deciding whether or not they should be slaughtered or salvaged. But, before we go any further, um, I have to give two very special thank yous to two massively brilliant and very, very friendly and just genuinely fantastic channels. I have a very strong feeling that you know exactly who these guys are, and... <laughs> Hell, um, half of my subscribers that I've picked up over the last week um, know of my existence because of these guys. So two very special thank yous are a must for the guys at Did You Know Gaming and of course The Completionist. And I can't thank you guys enough for checking out my videos and sharing them and just basically being very supportive and just brilliantly brilliant people and letting me grab a few more beautiful people for myself and giving me a chance in the masses of the the gaming watching video content watching audiences all over the world and to have a chance to swim in that crowd for me is just fantastic and I can't thank you enough for that. And who knows, something magical might happen out of this, we're, we're not too sure yet, it's far too early to say, but if something fantastic does spring out of this then these two channels over here, these brilliant guys, these guys these guys are the initial thank yous, and I've got to thank you again. If I could do anything from all the way over here in the United Kingdom to pay back this, or just do something to show my gratitude, I would. So, um, if you guys watch it, well, I'm offering myself. If I can do anything, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do it. And I've said all my thank yous, I've rambled on long enough, so... Let's get on with the show, and I'm gonna warn you, just in case you guys shit yourselves, I'm about to go nostalgic on your ass. Rugrats! Yes, yes, yes! I loved the Rugrats as a kid, and I shan't lie, I will watch it if I'm flicking around TV and stumble across it. The show, apart from being hugely nostalgic for me, filled me with a strong sense of FUN AND HAPPINESS, and it softened me with its serenity and comforting vibes. Yeah, there were one or two flaws here and there, and it wasn't the best show on TV by any means, but come on, the nostalgia levels are just off the charts for me. Now I'm just gonna cut the bullshit here, because you guys all know the characters and you all know the show, so why am I saying anything about it? There's no point whatsoever. Moving on. Naturally, the show was a huge success on Nickelodeon, and merchandise flew off the shelves in vast numbers, leading to titty huffing <laughs> to develop eight Rugrats games, spanning a few different genres over a few different formats. Although, despite the fact that I was a massive Rugrats fan, I only own five of these Rugrats games. And wouldn't you know, I was a dumb, 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 dumb kid. And so I just happened to own the only game dedicated for much younger players. And not just any much younger players, mind you, but younger players of the opposite crapping sex. Totally angelic. This is one of the few games in my whole collection that is dedicated solely to young female players, apart from... Skills, yeah, really that one. But this right here is something truly special. And obviously, as I am an ungodly fashion pioneer, this game is perfect for my taste. Now, first thing to note is that this is the only game I have in my whole collection with a mangled spine. <laughs> oh, go on, ask. What? Go on, ask why. Get stuffed on reading. Oh, just ask, bitch. Wanker. Oh, okay, what was that for? You called me a bitch, you wanker. No, I didn't. You did. You did. I heard you. I really didn't. Okay, then. What did you call me? A bitch. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, why was the spine mangled? Well, I'm glad you asked because I didn't actually like this infant girl game at all when I was an adolescent little boy, so I actually drowned it in wine many years ago. And ten years later, the bastard thing still won't open properly. Ah, totally Angelica. I've missed you. Ugh, look at the pink, hideous disc. Look at those disfigured pages. Look at those dirty wine stains. And look at this horrific language! Now, even though this isn't too pleasant to look at per se, I think that the main problem is that it's aimed at the kiddie girl demographic. 
yet it stars the only character in the whole show that was a complete fanny of a person. Not one thing was likeable about her. She may have been relatable to one or two girls out there, but why would you use her to promote this? Why would I play a game based off a of fanny over here? Man, I know. But nevertheless, I did. And I finished it as well. I'm not going to be finishing it again, don't worry about that. But for old times sakes, let's have a revisit of um, Totally Fanny and see if it's just as bad as I remember it. Do I really want to press start? No. If I have to. Okay, so after one of the longest loading screens I've ever seen in my life, we get this pleasant little opening. You can be as beautiful and grateful as me, Cynthia. Open, open, open! Open, 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 open! Open, 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 open! Oh well. Didn't need them anyway. So our plot for today is that darling little Angelica's playset for her doll was destroyed. By herself. And so... What do we do? We make our own fashion show. In a mall. Welcome to Make Believe Mall. Ooh, it's Tommy! He sounds so fucking cute! Just as cute as I remember. Ah, oh, what a delightful little cameo. Made my day. You know, it's a shame we're actually stuck with Fanny, though. By the way, all of this, this mall, this fashion show, this bloody game, it's all in her imagination. All of it. So, I'm assuming that the babies have all passed out on the floor in the living room as this fantastic and utterly pointless premise is carried out in Angelica's head. How does this plot come full circle? Well, by completing a very somewhat diverse variety of minigames, every completion of set minigame awards you with an item of clothing, makeup, jewellery, etc, all depending on the shop of the mall that you entered. I'm not going to bother critiquing the controls as you only move left and right. And X makes you walk. Very slowly. WHY?! And you can enter and exit each shop with forward and back. <laughs> I've got... there's nothing much to say. The controls are pretty responsive in the mini-games, but we'll get to that in a bit. Graphically, it looks like Rugrats. Just a little bit creepy. Here I am, just derping around, can't decide where to go first. Where am I gonna go? Welcome to the Cookie Church! Oh, hi Tommy! Oh, he's so cute. Um, Cookie Catch sounds fun. Let's have a look-see. Catch the falling mm. as fast as you can. Seems simple you enough, so let's begin. I hope this is like a crash and bash level, because if it is, then yes are we in for a treat. So the aim of this stage is that we go left and right and catch all the falling cookies. And that's it. Okay, well that just sucks! Why in the name of Mad Max 3 mm. Beyond Thunderdome would this be classed as anything resembling a game? That was pointless! Horrible! Do I feel accomplished? I got a pink dress! Hip any fucking ray! Let's hope I win this fashion show, eh? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. That won't happen again. That That isn't fair. I'm sorry. But seriously, I know that Crash and Basham was made for multiplayer and the campaign mode got a little tiresome with the repetition of the minigames to win the trophies, but in this game, you're expected to replay this shit for about four or five times because you can and almost need to win these different items of fashion in each category. There's no other way to acquire the different items. You have to repeat the same game on each floor about five times to win everything, oftentimes even more. And if this is all in little Angelica's imagination, Nation. The little girl in the cartoon who wanted everything in the world spoon-fed to her without any effort or hard work on her part, then why on earth would she go through with this? It makes no sense. This is slowly losing my patience. Okay, maybe that game was just a dud. I've got another two to try. Guide me to it, Tommy. Shop to you, Muppet! Fluffy's Pinball Maze! Pinball Maze? Sounds awesome. I'm thinking Zen Pinball meets Doom. I can't wait. Okay, one button, folks. Bounce the ball around. I've got nothing, guys. Got nothing! I can't say or do anything to exacerbate the ridiculousness of this situation. This is just awful. Unfortunately, nearly every minigame uses perhaps one or two buttons, maybe even three if you're lucky. Hey, Caddy. Have you heard about this game Slender? Everyone's playing it. Wait. What the 
hell are you playing? It's not what it looks like. I, I, I can explain. Are you playing a... A girl's game? No! No, no I'm not! You are! You totally are! <laughs> this will make one hilarious status. No! Don't! Don't! It, I told you, it's not what it looks like! Yeah, it is, Caddy. And now the whole world will know that you're just a wussy, girly, girly girl. I'm warning you, mister. If you make that a Facebook status, I swear to God. Oh, the little baby girly girl is getting stressy. I think it's time for bed. I mean it, man. Fuck off. Who's a little girly girl? Caddy's little girly girl. I'm not a girly girl, cause Caddy is a... Totally fanny. So anyway, got myself some fetching outfits. Let's accessorize, modernize, caramelize, and bastardize. I'm actually a little bit excited here. This is actually kind of like next level stuff here. Just a few more things. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Awesome, my darling. You look fucking sexy tonight. Okay, let's go. The moment of truth. We have our judges. Hardened by experience and years of fashion grafting, and our supermodel looking for a chance in the big, harsh world. The outcome? No one is quite sure of yet. This may alter the course of this aspiring young woman's career and give new insight to our veteran judges. I. Oh. 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 Ah. Eh. Eh. Ouch. Hmm. Sorry, little angel. I don't think you made the cut. <laughs> Whoa, not even your own grandfather has given you a break, Fanny. Sorry, darling, I'm gonna be brutally honest here. You look fucking hideous, and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to give you a 2 out of 10 for looking terrible and being a Fanny of a granddaughter. Fuck you. Now where's my potato salad? Good God. You wouldn't believe that this is all you do. But yes, this is it. For five floors. No change. No spice. No salt, no pepper, no sweet chilli sauce, no milk, no chives, no herbs, no dirty washing water, absolutely bugger all. Great game. You know what? For shits and giggles, let's just go in as our normal self and see if that makes a difference. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Congrats game, you made my day. <laughs> yeah! Well, I don't really want to replay any mini games. But the game can't be that badly programmed that we are able to just enter with the same outfit and accumulate exactly the same points. <laughs> That'll be stupid. Let's try it! Wait, are you shitting me? Yes, the game just shat me. Are you telling me that I can just keep replaying the same fashion show with the same clothes and accumulate the same points in order to advance to the next floor, therefore completing the game? It can't be. It just can't be. But in order to get to the next floor, you need to collect a certain amount of points from every fashion show you do, obviously. And it seems to me that I've reached my goal, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the strangest victory music and celebration I have ever seen from any movie, game, book, or table. I don't know, I, I kind of feel indifferent about that. I don't know if I should be happy, or just... Sick. Anyways, next floor. Let's see what other mini games we have here. Oh, 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 God! Oh no! <laughs> What's with all this granny pink everywhere? Where are we? Are we in Katie Price's? Actually, let's not go there ever again. Everything is the same here, except the mini games include frog catching, one button, follow the leader, two buttons and Metal Gear Grandpa, which uses the arrow buttons. What was that noise? What's the point in saying anything more about this? Honestly. Thanks for playing in our store! Oh, Tommy, you're beginning to outstay your welcome. Got me a wig and some jewellery, I look positively fantabulosa, so let's wow the imaginary audiences once more. <laughs> okay, Phil, it isn't that funny. Okay, okay, just stop laughing, please. STOP! Hmm. 
pretty damn good if you don't mind me saying. I am not going through with this again. Oi, 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 Fanny, stop getting so pissy at me. It's not my fault that you headline such a horrible game. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Welcome to to- Tommy, shut up! Angelica, I just heard. <laughs> no one must know. Oh my god, it's the beautiful people. Hello, my beautiful people. Thank you very much for watching this latest video. Um, my guest channel today was Super Ollie Ross, and you can have a look at him from that little link I put up over there. Yeah, you can have a look at that. Um, and also. Um, I got some of my other videos on the left hand side as well, so have a look at them as well. If it's your birthday today while watching this video, then happy frickin' birthday to you. Remember to stay beautiful, and don't forget to... Ay, 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 ay.